Welcome back to This Bites For You. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing, an overview, and some product usage of the Asus ROG Strix XG 17 AHP 17.3 inch portable gaming monitor. Before I keep going, come over here real quick and let's start the unboxing. All right, so again, here we have the Asus ROG Strix XG 17 AHP. One thing I need to let you guys know, I've actually already done the unboxing, but during recording, I had absolutely no audio. Generally, I don't like to do a re-unboxing because I don't sound as authentic, but this thing is awesome, so I'm gonna be excited all over again to open it for you guys. There's only one problem I found with this, and I'll go over it a little bit later on. But anyway, along the front, we can see the ROG logo along with Republic of Gamers. Along the side over here, nothing incredibly interesting. Model number, serial number, all that good stuff. Along the back over here, we can see the notification for a battery. This is a portable gaming monitor. So it has a 7,800 milliamp battery for up to three hours of gaming goodness. And it only takes one hour to charge. Over here, we have just the Asus logo. Along the top, blank, and along the bottom, some stuff here, some tape, pretty much blank. So, going to go ahead and open it up real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to flip this over real quick so everything can fall out. Very gently. fell out much cleaner the first time around. All right, so corner foam. It's actually pretty nice foam, but it's just foam. And that was just a piece of cardboard. Nothing incredibly interesting in there. And well, first off, it comes with this very nice bag. You can see close up the material. All right, and along the front, we can see the ROG, Asus, re all that good stuff right over here. And it is textured, so it feels nice. This is not a bag or a pocket. I thought it was at first. Along over here, we can see the ROG logo. Down here, ROG. Along the bottom, nothing but the zippers. The zippers also have this little plastic piece here to grip onto with the ROG logo. One over here and one over here as well. All right. And then along the sides, so you can attach a strap over the whole, over the shoulder boulder holder strap. All right. So just opening it up. Okay. There is one pocket here, another pocket in the middle, and then another pocket over here. This pocket has that strap so you can attach over here and over here, and then as well as the shoulder cushion, so it's not uncomfortable. This is great with three pockets because you can store a laptop, you can store the monitor, and then anything else over here. All right, so that's enough with the bag. Okay, so over here, this big black obelisk, Pretty much empty, nothing over here, but it does have this. This is a charger, just plug it into the wall. And then on this side, along with the Asus logo, you have a USB connection so that you can power the monitor. That's again, all there is in this obelisk. In this incredible obelisk, is a monitor stand. So this is awesome because it's not just a portable monitor. Whenever you get to where you're going, you're gonna stay there. And then I'll just took this out real quick. Nothing else in here. There is this little teeny tiny Allen wrench. I don't know what this is for, but must be important. Taking this out of here, this 
is awesome. First off, it's probably one of the heaviest things in this box. The monitor is only slightly heavier. All right, and so, now listen carefully. When I opened that third one, this little locking mechanism popped out so that now that's not going to open up. To close it, just push the button and it's locked. So opening it up again, taking this foam off real quick. All right, so first off, along the side, we can see the Republic of Gamer logo along with a lock for the neck. So once you have it at your desired length, just go ahead, lock it. It's not going anywhere. Now over here is where you would attach it to the monitor. And then with the monitor on there, you can tilt it like you like. Without the monitor, this is incredibly hard to tilt. So just wanted to let you guys know. And then you would go ahead push this little button in as well as this button and then this comes out this is the piece again that you attach to the monitor and that locks right into here again this is a 17.3 inch monitor in here with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio this is a very nice box that it comes in an inner box with the ROG Strix XG17 portable gaming monitor and their nice little kind of drawing or art right over here as well as the ROG logo serial number UPC nothing along the back side that same art nothing here and nothing here so in typical ROG fashion if you've owned an ROG product before whenever you open the box it's a gallery. So you see how that monitor just kind of slides up. So first off in the box, they have the color calibration testing report. I don't know anybody that reads this, but it's definitely good to have. I'm going to put the monitor away just for right now. So you may have seen this stick to the monitor. It's magnetic right over here. This is a magnetic strip as well as over here. This is a cover for the monitor and I'll show you how to use that in a second. Okay, and then opening this library up, we have the Asus In Search of Incredible, a VIP member notice. And just thank you for purchasing Asus products for your monitor, all that good stuff. And then here, a brief guide on putting everything together. Little pamphlet, what all the connections do. Over here as well. Okay, so this side is empty. Now coming over here, we have an HDMI to mini HDMI cable. This cable is about three feet long. And then we have a USB-C to USB-C cable. USB-C to USB-C. This cable is about four feet long. And then if your computer doesn't have USB-C, there is a USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter. So that's nice with the little ROG logo there as well on the back also. So awesome that they include not only the cables, but the adapter as well, because not everybody has USB-C. All right, so let's just put this aside for now. And here we have the monitor. All right, 
beautiful little monitor here. It has an anti-glare surface, but even though you see all these lights all around me, these are studio grade lights aimed directly at here. You're gonna get a little glare, no matter what you have. Okay, and then you'll see this down here. This is their dual one watt speaker. This is not meant to be amazing, but so that you have some portable audio wherever you're going. Then the back over here, the ROG logo. And then over here is where you connect that little adapter. I'll go ahead and just set this down and connect this guy over here. Now, one thing to note is if this is not tight when you screw it in here, the monitor is gonna be wobbly. That's your fault, not the monitor's fault. So make sure you tie it down or screw it down nicely with a flathead or a Phillips. Just don't go crazy tightening it. Just make sure it doesn't spin around. A little bit more. Just to make sure it's nice and tight, you don't want to crack it. And then with the stand, if you remember, we just drop it right in here. And actually, just wanted to go over the connections real quick. All right, so the monitor has a 3.5 millimeter jack and then a USB-C power connection. Then over here, a DisplayPort power connection, which doubles as a USB-C and then a mini HDMI connection over here. Over here, we have the power button and then the input button and then the volume rockers or the rockers for the OSD. Along this side, it is blank. Same with the bottom and the top. Okay, so now after attaching that adapter, we'll get the stand. The click locks it in place and now it's in place. Now you don't need to watch it like this. <laughs> that would be kind of silly. And you have a full-fledged 17.3 inch monitor. Wait a minute, but that's too high. That's better. So it is adjustable. And then of course, tilt however you want it to be. And then as I showed you before, just hold these two tabs and lift the monitor out and just slide it back in when you want. Clicks in place. That way, you know it's locked and it's not going to go anywhere. So this monitor has a 1920 by 1080 resolution a pixel pitch of 0.199 millimeters, a brightness of 300 CD, and a contrast ratio of 1,000 to 1. Now, the bad thing about this monitor is it's a little expensive, but mainly because it comes with the stand and all that other good stuff, whereas the lower model one is a little bit cheaper, but it doesn't bring the stand. To me, the stand is incredibly important. Now, over here, if you don't want to use the stand, you can always use this magnetic base. Like this. And you can see Now that's going to go ahead and hold with this little guy over here. So that is nice. And when you're done with it, you can just cover it up like this. 
put it aside so nothing damages that screen. So that is definitely a nice touch. Let me show you a few of the things it connects to. All right, so if you're like me, or maybe my son, when you go anywhere, you take your Nintendo Switch with you or your PSP or whatever along those lines, and you wanna play a game. And let me lower the volume on this one sec. All right, so as you're playing whatever game, maybe Pokemon Go or whatever you might be playing, okay? You're going to want to connect your HDMI cable to the Switch docking station. Unfortunately for the Switch, it's portable, but in this case, not so much. So when you go to a hotel or something, you'll want to connect that to power. And then the monitor, you might want to connect it here to the USB-C power, but actually you're going to want to connect it to the HDMI. So we'll just connect that there, turn it around. We'll go ahead, just press the power button. Now this takes an hour to charge. I've already charged it, so we're good to go there. Now we have Pokemon Go on a larger screen. Let me go ahead, turn the volume up. And it's that easy, you just drop it. Now the image is going to come back up here. Okay, and then we can just play like this. We'll come along the side here and raise the volume. All right, so then we can just, from here, just. Go ahead, get out of this volume. And mind you, Pokemon is just a game I had in there. Of course, you can play whatever whatever game you'd like. So let's try another one real quick. All right, so if the Switch is not your thing, you can whip out your PS4, your PS5, your Xbox, whatever number you may have. Then connect the HDMI cable. Then again, we'll grab the mini HDMI side. Plug that in. Just power it on again. Now again, using its own speaker into the monitor. All right. So we'll play a game of Brawlhalla real quick. Three, two, one, All right, so like we did with the switch, just connect it. All right, so anyway, you can see, you can play the Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, whatever console you'd like on it, this will take care of you. But maybe you're a little bit more business oriented. I met with these guys at PAX, the creators of Brawlhalla, awesome team. I didn't have any of this gaming stuff. I had my workstation. When I came back at night, I had to edit all the video I recorded 
to present it to you guys. So at PAX, I only had my Dell XPS 13, which is an awesome laptop, but the screen's only 13 inch, and I didn't have any place to connect it. If I would have had this bad boy, I just grabbed the USB-C connection, connect it to the laptop, then connect it to the DP or USB-C connection, then bing, 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 you'll hear that sound, that'll turn on, and then in a second, that will extend the display. You'll see that go away. And then this pops up. So we can have an extended display so that, you know, we can have, so that we can watch some great YouTube content. Don't worry, my friends. Or whatever we wanted to watch. Let's say we wanted to type up something here or type up something here we could do it while we're listening to music, checking out the news. That way we work a lot smarter, not a lot harder. So that is pretty awesome. You can play games on this. It has a 240 hertz display, which is amazing. Problem is this laptop isn't the greatest for gaming. So you're not gonna be able to get too much out of this laptop. Let's see what it does on a desktop. After a long day of work, or maybe a long vacation, sometimes you're going to be at home. At home, you probably have a larger monitor, or even if you have a 17 inch, you can set this guy along the side, have an extended desktop or mirror it. So that way you have more than one monitor. So plugging in the HDMI into the video card, and then the other end into this display, you might notice this guy flicker a little tiny bit as this one is turning on. Republic of Gamers, I was about to press the button, I didn't realize it would come on. And now we have a secondary display. So sometimes you're going to be streaming, you're going to be maybe doing some work that you need the monitor, you know, rotated sideways or something along those lines. So while you're streaming, you can have Discord over here. If you're an overclocker, you can have this monitoring your temperatures, or you know if you want to see something for your video card, so you're always watching all the temperatures, all the speed, all the memory, all the GPU, everything, you can have this on the side. So this becomes an incredibly handy monitor. Now, if you wanted to game on this instead of your primary display, you can also. So for example, so if you wanted to game on this monitor, you can. I have Grand Theft Auto 5 on here at the full resolution of 1920 by 1080, the refresh rate at 144 Hertz and actually being on this display I can go up to 204, whoops, 240 hertz. So definitely great there. Now, if I wanted to show FPS, I can either load the Asus FPS uh, widget or come in over here on the same screen and then come down to gaming. Go under Games Plus, FPS Counter, Counter, and let's put it bottom right hand corner. So you can see right now it's running at 60 something frames per second. So coming out of here, so we can start up a game and you see we're at 108 frames per second, the fastest I saw it. And I'm giving you guys the the main display, so it's kind of hard for me to see everything. But you have the front seat here, and just look how beautiful, how smooth. Now, mind you, that's going to be a lot with your system config as well. As long as your video card and your main system can handle everything. I have the game at 100% max, everything at the very highest. And, you know, 
to 6800 so it does a great job at it look at all those reflections the detail it just it looks amazing and just remember these speakers are playing the audio it's not coming from anywhere else now I have a microphone over my head I don't know if it's how well it's picking up the sound from the game I'm sure you can hear it though I just want to show you frames per second here and man it's I didn't realize it would go this fast now mind you again we are playing at 1080p but we have a good CPU and a good video card so it's gonna take whatever we throw at it pretty well so it's not only for gaming although of course you can do it for example, right up here, I have a Discord rotated. That way it's easier, maybe something to code with. If you want to read an article, if you want to write an article, perfect for all that, then utilizing the Asus display widget, as I showed you on its side, or even this way, you can throw in a crosshair, you know, change it up a little bit, then you can put up a timer, the FPS counter as I showed you, the dynamic rate frequency, app sync, multi-frame, image, hotkeys, or system. This is the perfect companion for any monitor or great on its own. The Asus ROG Strix XG17AHP monitor, I think is a pretty awesome monitor. It'll play on your Switch, your PC, your PS4, your PS5, the Xboxes, your desktop PC. It'll play just about anything, anywhere. It is portable, so you can take it around you wherever you'd like. It does have its own speaker. That way you can play on the go and hear it. And if you don't want everyone else to be bothered by the sound, you do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well. That way you don't bother anybody. So, and it does come with the stand. There is a version without the stand that's about $100 less. What I don't like about it, it only does 1080p. Now mind you, that is one of the, if not the most popular resolutions around for people to play at. It's a great resolution myself. I like 2K and 4K when everything is perfect for it. But aside from the 1080p, I think the price is a bit high for what it is, a 17.3 inch, but it's a 17.3 inch that has a battery. I was able to verify the battery will last about three hours, depending about on what you're doing on it a little bit lower maybe two hours and 52 minutes or a little bit higher depending again on what you're doing with it it is awesome i i love the battery part the screen looks beautiful with the display widget that i showed you earlier gives it a lot more features which are actually pretty cool features and the stand is tremendously not only strong it is so strong sturdy and heavy I really do like this monitor it's gonna set you back a little bit but the for portability sake stand without stand then if you don't have the stand you can use the cover which acts as a stand so they got you covered any way possible 
as normal with ROG, ROG always has your back. So as you can see right over here, I plugged it in while I was talking to you guys into the laptop. Image came up in what, three, four, five seconds. It's pretty awesome. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What do you love about it? What do you hate about it? The cold aluminum feel as well just makes it feel so much more sturdy and sexy. Aside from the price and the 1080p, I think it is an awesome monitor. Again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, please do click like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And if you like this video and you feel like buying me a cup of coffee, go right ahead. I'll give you a link right in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by, my friends. I will see you very soon. Iggy out. See you guys.